I really wanted to teach a class that revolved around this idea of, of problem solving in a contemporary way for artists engaging in technology. Mike was trained where he has the range of experience to teach everything from you know, welding to work, working with uh, plaster and clay, but he also, in his own work, works with digital technology. Very quickly, he proposed you know, doing this uh, DIY, do-it-yourself class, uh, kind of a problem-solving class. And in the course of, of formulating that class, um, Mike had the idea of building a laser cutter for the department with the students in the context of the class. And it was really a student-driven project. I really tried to stand back and allow uh, these students to actually like, you know, cut the metal, solder the, the, the circuit boards, flash the, the Arduino that's actually running it. I had never had any experience with technology at all involved in art making before. And so I really learned a lot about electronics and what goes into doing a DIY project, but also about working in a group and getting things done together, which is a really important aspect of art making. In that class, I had people from the engineering majors and from the art majors. We had architects, and I got to meet a bunch of new people, which was really important for me, and we all kind of got to put our own inputs in to this project. As an engineer, it's really good to have a creative outlet um, that's really different from you know, your average problem sets and your design work that you do. I think that art and engineering are not too different. And it's, from the art perspective, I think it's important for artists nowadays to explore the new tools that are out there, uh, specifically like laser cutting, 3D printing, uh, all sorts of rapid prototyping.